Hi, welcome to the Fitness on the Run Show. My name is John Yan, and my job is to use my 18 years as a competitive athlete and my last 10 years as a personal trainer to get you healthy and keep you healthy. Because health and fitness is a journey, not a destination. We've got to keep working at it. All right, so today we're going to talk a little bit of something that is very personal to me, and that is I want to talk to you a little bit about the psychology of health and fitness. And I'm going to relate this to the sport. When I was 16, I broke my neck. I fell off the high bar and landed on my head. And it was pretty tough for me to get back on the high bar because I was scared after I was even perfectly 100% healthy. Um, it took a lot of fear, a lot to get over. So I see a lot of this going on with the clients that I train and people that I've come across in the last 10 years. As they're trying to get healthy, they're scared. They're, they're scared because of their own uh, self-image is hindering them from success. Just like mine was, after I was able to get back on the high bar, it was really terrifying and I did not succeed every time. So it starts with a goal and we need to reprogram our, our brains, in a sense, our self-image to achieve that goal. And it starts with doing processes, succeeding at those little processes and telling yourself that that is like you to do that. Uh, for example, Get back on the high bar and start with baby steps. Maybe it's a blind change in the beginning. Um, whatever it may be, whatever some simple skill that you can do, and then say, hey, that's like me, I can do that. So for weight loss, if your goal is to lose 10 pounds, it could be, I'm gonna eat five fruits and vegetables a day, or I am not gonna eat fried foods, or I don't overeat. And then when you don't, you give yourself a pat on the back, and say, good job, that's like me. And when you screw up, exact opposite. That's not like me. I don't like that. That is not a part of me to do that. So eventually, as you do all these processes over and over and over again, and you reaffirm them with positive thoughts behind it to back it up, it becomes a part of who you are. So eventually, you only have to think about it. You just do it. When you go to order a meal, you just sit down and you order something healthy for you, a salad with fruits and vegetables. You don't have to worry about it. It's just who you are. I have a few programs that run in my head and they say, number one, I don't eat fried food. Number two, I don't have a sweet tooth. I don't like dessert. It just doesn't appeal to me. I know it's weird, right? But it just doesn't. But I do have one that says, I'll take another glass of wine, please. Or, hey, those home brews I've been making, I'll have one, right? So those are all different programs that we can run in your head. So this week, write down on your list of things to do Process that, processes that are going to help you get further to your goal. And when you do them, give yourself a pat on the back. Confirm it with a positive thought behind it and say, that's like me. And if you don't get it in one day, it's not the end of the world. Just make sure that it doesn't become a part of who you are, not to do it. So you reaffirm that with, that is not like me. And then tomorrow, the next day, you do it again. You do something positive, you get your list done, you check it off. So there's something for you to chew on this week. Uh, uh, what do you think? Have you guys tried this? I, it took some really serious brainwashing for me to get back on that high bar, I'll tell you that. Uh, I did daily affirmations that I wrote down uh, on my school notebooks. Every time I passed it, I had to read that affirmation and it was, it was tough. But it did reprogram my brain to be able to do well in gymnastics from there on out and compete in college successfully. So that's this week's show. Let me know what you think comments below please and a thumbs up or two is nice i'll see you next wednesday with another episode of the fitness on the run show i'm john ham see you next wednesday